a close friend of mine, and I think of many of you as well, Rich Trumka died today from a heart attack. He was an American worker, always fighting for working people, protecting their wages, their safety, their pensions, and their ability to build a middle class life. I've also believed that the middle class built America, but I know who built the middle class, unions. Unions built the middle class. There's no doubt that Rich Trumka helped build unions all across this country. The last thing before we go tonight is the death of a true stalwart in the American labor movement. Richard Trumka, the head of the AFL-CIO, died today at the age of 72. It's hard to overstate the outsized role that he had in the labor movement. The AFL-CIO is made up of 56 unions representing over 12 million workers, and he led them for 12 years. Trumka became the organization's secretary treasurer in 1995, holding that post until he was elected president in 2009, a role he held until his death today. But his days as a union boss go way back. Trumka grew up in Nemecolin, a mining town in western Pennsylvania. He was born into a family of coal miners. He worked the mine starting at the age of 19 while attending Penn State and then Villanova Law School. When he was just 33 years old, he was elected president of the Union, uh, United Mine Workers of America, becoming its young, youngest leader ever. During his years as the head of the AFL-CIO, he deftly navigated an ever-changing political landscape. Organized labor had long been a world dominated by white men, but Trumka oversaw a period when this nation and the unions he represented became increasingly diverse. He worked with the Obama White House, advising the former president on jobs and competitiveness. But it wasn't just Democrats. Trumka supported some Trump tariffs and praised the deal that Donald Trump negotiated to replace NAFTA. He's also been openly critical of presidents on both sides of the aisle and made sure he was at the table to discuss worker safety during the pandemic. After all, the coronavirus made this nation appreciate workers in a way that was long overdue, with people literally cheering out their windows to thank nurses, grocery store clerks, mail carriers and beyond. Beyond the accolades, though, that's where Trumpka came in, covering labor and business for years. I got to know the man, interviewing him many times. He spent his life making sure workers got a living wage, good health care, child care, and a retirement they could depend on. Richard Trumka worked to keep the American dream alive for millions of people whom he'd never even met. That's our broadcast for this Thursday night. With our thanks for being with us, on behalf of all my colleagues at the networks of NBC News, good night.